hello and welcome to the channel on this channel we talk about studying working and living in the uk as foreign nationals if you're interested in topics like this join the community by subscribing to this youtube channel now i decided to dedicate the first two weeks in the month of february to creating and posting videos here on youtube about love in the uk for foreign nationals basically for the first two weeks in the month of february we are going to be talking about how to find love here in the UK as a single person who is a foreign national living here in the UK. If you're married, we're talking about how to nourish your love life because trust me, marriages in the UK is definitely different from wherever you're coming from in the world. I mean, there's a lot of culture shock. The things are done differently here in the UK. And you know what they say, when you're in Rome, you behave like the Romans. The videos I will be posting on the channel for the first two weeks of February, there are five in total. We'll just be talking about love. We'll talk about things to do in the UK during Valentine, whether you're a single or you're a married person. We'll talk about Valentine gift ideas to get. Everything about love, trust me, I'm going to talk about it. So I have five videos dedicated to talking about love in the UK for foreign nationals because why not? I mean, as foreign nationals in the UK, our love life is an important aspect of life here in the UK in general. I mean, as foreign nationals, we are always chasing visas, always keeping up with the latest visa and immigration updates, keeping up with UK politics, what to do when you arrive. You know, we're always talking about other things. So I just thought to switch things up a little and just talk about love. So I have five videos talking about love for foreign nationals <laughs> in the UK this February. Now for the remaining part of February, because I tend to post seven to eight videos every month. So for the remaining three videos, I'm starting a new series for international students. So basically, if you are an international student or if you are a foreign national thinking of coming studying in the UK in 2023, I will literally hold you by the hand and teach you step by step. I think I have 14 videos in that series. So stay tuned because after talking about love, we're going to the hot cake. We're going back to life as we know it, talking about studying in the UK and studying in the UK the right way possible because studying in the UK is an investment that should be maximized. Now, I've said so much. Let's get into today's video. So in today's video, we would be talking about romantic things to do in the UK this Valentine's Day. Now, not just Valentine's Day. I think I just niched it to Valentine's because this month is, you know, month of love, Valentine's everywhere, you know, and things like that. But obviously, I will still touch about the subject of love or foreign nationals love life in the UK some other time. But why not for this Valentine, right? I think the Valentine spirit is what motivated me to even think about this video idea because it's probably something I would not have thought of. I mean, I'm all about visa, how to apply for this in the UK, I'm very national, that and this and that. So yeah, whether you're single, married, or you're in a relationship, there's something for everyone in the UK to do to feel loved or to be loved. So this video would be divided into two talking points. So I've divided it to outdoor and indoor so what you can do by yourself or with your partner indoors and what you can do by yourself or with your partner outdoors so let's talk about things you can do if you're the outdoor kind of person now the number one thing you can do is sightseeing now you don't need to break the banks to sightsee in the uk it doesn't matter wherever you're living in the uk whether you're living in manchester london edinburgh glasgow wherever you're living in the uk there are always amazing and beautiful museums around you now for this video i will talk about places you can see or places you can go to if you're an outdoor kind of person in manchester because i live in manchester and i'm familiar with manchester and things you can do in manchester so what you can do is just to replicate the things i've said that you can do in manchester and look for it in the city where you live in the uk or the city nearest to you if the city where you live in the uk is you know <laughs> rural or probably there's not much to do there now if you live in manchester you can go to manchester museum you can go to the lorry and there's manchester arts gallery now for sightseeing, there are places you can go to for free in Manchester and there are places that you would have to pay to like enter the place. I remember when myself and my family members went to the Jewish Museum here in Manchester, we had to pay, but it was like 18 pounds for a year. So we paid 18 pounds so we can revisit as many times as possible in a year. So the payments are not always that much, so you can just check it out. Now, 
you don't need to break the banks like i said to site c in the uk there's always somewhere close to you where you can just go and site c even just going to trafford center to just window shop is an amazing experience i mean i love window shopping so you can go there by yourself or with your spouse to just go and window shop you can go to arendelle arendelle is also a good place to go to you know you can find somewhere to eat there's always something going on in the city center so for those who do not live in manchester Arendelle is in the city center and there's always something going on in the city center or there's always events going on. Anyway, this brings us to number two. Number two will be taking a trip to another city. Now, if you live in the UK, you should know by now that the UK comprises of four countries, which is Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and England. So if you live in England, you can go to Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland and vice versa. If you live in Scotland, you can do the same thing. So you can just go to another city, you know, just take a trip, take a road trip. You can go with your friends, you can go with your partner, just take a road trip. You can even go by yourself. So you can go to cities like York to go and see the York Minster. You can go to Bates, you can go to Bristol. I hear that those cities or those towns are like really, really nice. So you can go there just to sightsee. I've been to Wales on a road trip and I loved it in Wales. So, you know, you can go there and visiting other countries within the UK or different cities within the UK does not cost that much. If you take the train, maybe 20 pounds, 50 pounds max if you're two with a return. So, you know, take the trip, be intentional about your relationship, be intentional about loving yourself to this Valentine period or throughout your stay in the UK. The third idea for those who like the outdoors is to go on a date. So you can go on a date to a restaurant or you can go for a buffet, you know, just take yourself for a nice buffet or take yourself to a nice restaurant and enjoy the ambience there. You can take yourself on a date, you can go with your partner, you can go with your friend. You know, you don't need to be in a relationship or you actually don't need to be married to enjoy Valentine's Day. You can enjoy Valentine's Day all by yourself or with a friend or with that person you are in the talking face suite, you know. You can go on a nice date, you know. Be particular about the restaurants you choose. Choose a restaurant where you would love the ambience, you know, you feel special. A restaurant that will make you have your bath, dress up, wear a nice cloth, or even make you go and shop for dresses or for that toxic. Though, you know, you know what to dress. Take yourself out. Take Uber. Don't enter the bus. Take Uber, you know. Take yourself out on a budget and in a luxurious way. Just make it special. And don't take videos. Don't take pictures to share on social media. Take the pictures and the videos for yourself just to have it on your phone you know i have those moments with my partner and with myself where we go out and it's not for social media it's just for us to just enjoy that moment you know just enjoy that moment irrespective of what anybody has to say don't share just enjoy it with yourself you know take yourself out for a bit and if you're still the outdoorsy person, maybe restaurants or buffets is not your thing. Like for me, going to restaurants and going for a buffet is not my thing because I cook well and I prefer homemade food than eating outside. Now, when I said restaurants, don't take yourself to McDonald's or don't take yourself to Five Guys. I mean a very bougie, nice restaurant, you know, go for that experience. So the fourth thing you can do if you're not that kind of person that likes going on a date to eat in particular, you can take yourself out for a date to a cinema or you can go with your partner or with your spouse to a cinema or with your friends just go to a cinema and watch a movie you know obviously you can watch the movie on your phone or you can watch netflix movies but go out if you're an outdoorsy person go out you know take yourself to a cinema and just go and watch a movie all by yourself or with a friend or with your spouse or with your boyfriend or girlfriend you know just go to the cinema and watch a movie dress up look good smell good and go out and watch a movie if you're not the kind of person that would like to eat outside like me the fifth thing you can do if you're an outdoorsy person and you feel you've gone to cinema lots of time or you've gone to restaurants lots of time is you can go to a game and entertainment center now in greater manchester there are a lot of game and entertainment centers we have the virtual hideout manchester we also have team sports indoor go-karting so go-karting is where you get to drive mini cars yeah i'll put a picture for you guys to see so you get to drive mini cars they give you helmets like you'll be competing and things like that and there's this place here in greater manchester i can't remember the name where you go 
and do wall climbing, you know, you do jungle games, it's amazing. So if you're that kind of person that you're sporty, you like exercising or you like physical activities, I feel it's a good thing. You can even play tennis, you can go bowling. There's a whole lot of things you can do. Just take yourself out or your partner or your friend, you know, go out and enjoy. Going out has been proven to be therapeutic. You know, it has been proven that going out, leaving your house or trying something new can be therapeutic. So, you know, go out. UK can be depressing at times. So go out, enjoy yourself this Valentine's. The sixth thing you can do if you don't fancy any of the ideas I have already mentioned is to take a relaxing spa date. Now, treat yourself or your significant other to a relaxing spa date and enjoy quality time together, you know? You know, in the UK, there are many spa spots in the uk what that, that like different kind of spa massages treatment you know just go out you know enjoy relax calm yourself you know just go and relax and you know for a moment get over the things life have thrown at you lately just relax again you don't have to be married you don't have to be in a relationship you can go out with yourself you know just take yourself out now if all what i've mentioned to you is just singing Pounds, 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 pounds. <laughs> because here in the UK, everything costs money. Going out costs money, you know. There's a cost of living crisis right now in the UK. The UK is in recession, you know. There's a lot going on when it comes to the economic and financial side of the UK. Now, if all of this seems expensive to you, you know, you can just go for a walk. You know, just take a walk or hike and enjoy the beauty of nature with your loved ones or by yourself. Now in the UK, there are lovely parks around or lovely walkway. Like you can just walk from your house, maybe to another place. Let the distance be there and you know, pass the walkway. Don't pass where cars will normally pass and just enjoy the beauty. Like those walkways are not awesome. Walkways in the UK are very beautiful and they are well thought out. So you can go for a walk or you can just walk to the park, you know, just say hello to someone. You can go by yourself or you can go with your loved ones. You know, as foreign nationals, when we first come to the UK, the finance is always a bit tight and we don't budget for just spending time with ourselves or going out because we might consider it to be a luxury. So, you know, make out time for yourself if you're an outdoor person, just to take a walk by yourself or with your loved ones. And like I said, when you're doing any of these things I mentioned in this video, don't do it to prepare anybody on social media or to prepare anybody in general. Just do it because you want to spend time with yourself. You just want to love yourself and love your partner. Now, let's move on to things you can do indoors. Now, if you're an indoorsy kind of person like me, one thing you can do is to have a candlelit dinner at home. Now, this one might cost you money because you have to do it from beginning to the end. But if you're a homemaker like me that like home things and doing things at home, it should not even, it should not even, it should not even budge because you do it with ease. So what you can do is to get a nice table. You can repurpose any of the tables in your house and get a nice table cloth, you know, set that table, look for a good recipe to make put candles, get a good wine, dress up and enjoy that dinner all by yourself or invite a friend over or enjoy it with your spouse. Now, if you're wondering where you can get the best recipe on this YouTube, CC Yemi and CC Jemima and Kiki Foods is your ultimate go-to channels for that recipe you're looking for. I mean, I've tried their recipes a million times. I am recommending these channels because I've watched videos on these channels and i've tried some of their recipes and they came out well and i've enjoyed with my household people like from their recipes i've even created my own recipe and tweak it to a way that i like so you can try that honestly you can try that and just enjoy it you know just cook and you know just there's something about having a nice homemade meal that will make you feel good trust me i will feel good if i do this the second thing you can do if you're an indoor person is to have a game night or a Netflix and chill night. Now, this can be mixed with having dinner or this can just be a games or Netflix and chill night. You know, just take out that time, 
other food if you cannot cook food if you don't want to cook food you know other that food on valentine's day or any other day it necessarily doesn't have to be on valentine's day you do these things to feel love I, like i said i just niched it to valentine because i mean why not we're in february and in the spirit of valentine now if you're a game person you can get some games from tk max i think tk max used to have cheap games like board games you can get and um charity shops too used to have like lovely puzzle games and board games like monopoly scrabble you know puzzles that you can buy and you know you you know you can play them with your friends you can play them all by yourself you can play them with your spouse you know just get that games and if you're not a game kind of person you don't like playing ludo or you know like playing all those kind of things you can do netflix and chill amazing amazing movies are coming out on netflix and disney plus and other streaming platforms this valentine's so you can either have it as a game night or a netflix and chill night you know you can netflix and chill with your partner or with your boyfriend or all by yourself or with a friend or you can make it a game night if you're a game kind of person so this second point can be tailored to however you want you either make it a game night or you make it a netflix and chill night so basically what i'm trying to say is that you can have a movie night you know pick your favorite romantic movie or watch a new movie you know just have a cozy night with your loved ones or you can get competitive and have a fun game night with your loved ones or all by yourself or with your friends now if you intend on doing all what i've mentioned in this video on valentine's day please don't forget to end the day with a lovely gift to your partner or to yourself so yeah, you have it. Some of the most romantic things to do in the UK this Valentine's Day. Now, I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up or share it with someone who would also find it helpful. Or share it with your partner so that they have an idea on what to do for a date or for date night in general. Or to give them an idea of what to do this Valentine's Day. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.